Hi, this video is going to be about uh, law of probability and genetics. And here is a problem, assuming a 1 to 1 sex ratio, what is the probability that a family of 5 children will consist of at least 4 daughters? And if you know how to solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And today I want to show you how to solve this problem using two methods. Uh, first one would be just uh, to use uh, common sense and logic and list all the possible variants and build a table. And the second method would be uh, to use factorial uh, method and use formula. So um, here is the first method. So we just list all the possible uh, variants. So uh, what is the uh, possible variants to have uh, five children with at least four girls? And the first variant would be, for example, girl, 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 girl. So four girls and one boy. So five children. Uh, the second variant would be girl, girl, girl then boy and once again a girl the third variant would be a girl a girl a boy and a girl a girl and um, next variant would be a girl a boy a girl a girl a girl and the last variant would be uh, when the first child would be a boy and four girls in a row. So as you see, uh, total number of variants when uh, we have four girls in a family with five children, we have uh, five variants total. And one more variant, because as you see here, the question is at least four. Not exactly four, but at least four. And that means that one more variant meets our requirements when we have all five children. So they would be all, all of them would be girls. So this is, would be one more variant. So total number six variants possible. And now we have to find uh, how many different variants are possible. And there are different methods how we can do it, for example, we can find the probability of uh, any of these uh, variants, for example, this one. And what is the probability that the first child would be a girl? And this is one half. And uh, one half chances for the second child to be a girl, and so on. And now we can use uh, a product rule. So we have to multiply all this independent probabilities and we are going to get 1 over 32. So the probability of this combination would be 1 over 32 as long as uh, each of these combinations. So when we have a particular order uh, the chances would be the same 1 out of 32 and total number of chances we have 6, 6 variant. So we have to multiply 1 over 32 by 6. And the answer would be 6 over 32. So uh, this, of course we can reduce this number. We can divide it, but uh, I will stop here. And this is going to be our answer. And this is, would be probability to have at least 4 daughters in a family of 5 children. And now I'm going to show you the second method and this is a uh, method uh, we call uh, using factorial method and uh, here is a formula. So n factorial and n stands for the number of the children divided by number of the girls so s factorial and by the number of the boys t factorial and multiplied by probability of girls, so p, raised by the number of the girls, so raised 
by the number of the girls raised as and multiplied by the probability of the boys, so Q, and raised by the number of the boys, so raised T. Now we can use uh, real uh, numbers for this formula, and this is what we are going to get here. So n factorial, what stands for the total number of the children, and we have five children divided by the uh, s factorial, and this is number of the girls. So this is going to be four factorial multiplied by t factorial, that stands for the number of the boys. So this is going to be one factorial multiplied by the probability of the girls, and this is going to be one half, or you can also say 0 0.5, that is going to be the same, raised by the number of the girls, so raised 4, and multiplied by the uh, frequency of the boys, and this is going to be 1 half, and uh, raised by the number of the boys, and this is going to be 1. So now we just have to calculate. So what is the what does uh, five uh, factorial five means? That means just a regression, and this is going to be five multiplied by four, by three, by two, and by one, and divided by factorial four. That means uh, once again regression of this number. So four multiplied by three, by two, and by one, and factorial one would be just one. And, uh, of course, uh, this part uh, of the formula would stay the same. So, multiplied by 1 half, raised 4, multiplied by 1 half, raised 1. And here, as you see, we have the same numbers on top and below. So, we can just reduce, we can cross out these numbers. And what we have here, just we left 5 divided by 1, and this is going to be 5. So anything divided by 1 would be the same number. So, and here we have 1 half raised 4, that means 1 half multiplied by itself 4 times, and multiplied by 1 half raised 1, so just by 1 half. And this is going to be, um, this is going to be, 5 multiplied by 1, 32. So this is going to be 5 over 32. And once again, we calculated uh, uh, all the variants possible when we have 4 girls and 1 boy. So this, is, uh, this stands for the number of girls and boys. And we have to add one more variant when we are going to get all the uh, children to be girls. So, uh, the final answer would be 5 over 32 plus 1, and this is going to be 6 over 32. So, as you see, the same answer as uh, in the first method that we use to solve this problem. But the second method is preferable when we have large numbers, and this is, would be not practical to list all the uh, possible variants. It's easy to make a mistake, and uh, it is also time-consuming, but using formulas would be much easier and much faster. So, this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video, goodbye.